Hi, I'm Chad Lee with the Grain and Forage Center of Excellence. Welcome today, we're glad you're here. The Grain and Forage Center of Excellence is mostly housed at the Research and Education Center in Princeton, where we've done a massive expansion and renovation of our main building that's going to allow over 60 University of Kentucky faculty, students, and staff to research concepts and ideas that are relevant to citizens all across Kentucky throughout the region and some of it even beyond that as well. We welcome you today and we want you to understand that this Grain and Forage Center of Excellence is committed to food security through increased food production. We're also committed to environmental security and that is if we produce this food, we need to do it in a way that protects our waters, our streams, our soils and our environment. We're also committed to answering those questions that are relevant to our citizens within Kentucky. And so with that approach, we try to answer Kentucky questions first, and on occasion, some of those questions have regional, even national impact as well. So thank you for joining us today, and I look forward to you hearing what some of our experts have to show you. The University of Kentucky Research and Education Center has always had the best interest of farmers and heart here in Kentucky. It started in 1925 when a group of farmers and businessmen bought 400 acres of land to establish this place. And uh, it stayed small for many years until about the 1970s, and uh, there was a large influx of faculty, researchers, and extension specialists that uh, came in, and they really increased the amount of research and extension education that was done here. And uh, this area, this place, gained prominence and respect, not only throughout Kentucky, but through many of the states beyond. And uh, in 1980, the Ag leadership of the state of Kentucky uh, built a nice building for us uh, with the laboratories and educational opportunities and uh, greatly increased our capabilities. And they also did that same thing in 2019. So out of that cooperative and symbiotic relationship, uh, a real good example of that would be um, uh, no-till agriculture. It was uh, allowed the research and education for no-till agriculture and the establishment of it and the refinement of it was done right here at Princeton, Kentucky. It changed practices, it changed agriculture in Kentucky and in a lot of places in the nation. And it also changed uh, many parts of the world adopted this agriculture. So that's just one example and I could cite many more that uh, has come out of this place and made a difference in agriculture in Kentucky and beyond. Hi, I'm Kirsten Wise, an extension plant pathologist with the University of Kentucky. And we're here today in our newly renovated University of Kentucky Research and Education Center in Princeton, Kentucky. And we're starting our tour in the Kentucky Farm Bureau lobby. And today we're gonna be looking at our renovated lab wing and also our new conference center. We're standing outside of our Seamer Milling Company Conference Center in front of the Kentucky Corn Growers Gallery to look at some of the new rooms available for extension use. Now we're in a smaller meeting room that we can use thanks to the Halcom family. We're standing in the Farm Credit Mid-America Classroom, which is set up so that students in Princeton can take classes simultaneously with students in Lexington. This is the demonstration classroom where we can have larger extension meetings and also classroom activities with hands-on learning. Now we're in the Kentucky Corn Conference Room where up to 200 people can attend extension meetings. Hi, I'm Katie Van Balen and I'm an extension beef specialist with the University of Kentucky. Now we're continuing our tour in our lab space. This is an example of some of the laboratory spaces that we have on at the station and this is the forage and animal science laboratory space. Now we're in the integrated pest management laboratory space, which is a space shared by faculty in the entomology and weed science departments. So in addition to our faculty research labs here in the laboratory wing of the station, we also have two service labs. We have the plant disease diagnostic laboratory as well as the soils testing lab where producers and extension agents can submit samples for diagnostics. Now we're standing outside of the plant pathology laboratory, which is shared by two of our plant pathology faculty here at the station. Now we're standing in front of the Clements Ag Supply Grains Agronomy Office, which is currently occupied by Dr. Carrie Knott. Uh, this is one of two of our sponsored offices that we have throughout the building. Now we're standing in the new office wing of our building, which is home to several faculty and staff offices, including the sponsored Peterson Farm Plant Pathology Office. This room to my left is 
uh, a small conference room which can house up to four people for small meetings throughout the day. And now we're inside the Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering Laboratory. This unit that I'm sitting on here is a four-wheeler that's equipped with GPS to mark boundaries of fields for precision agriculture experiments here at the station. Now we're standing outside the horticulture laboratory, which is a home to our faculty members working in the horticulture department. And they also have field labs and orchards and garden spaces throughout the station. Now we're standing outside of the Cook's Family Soil Lab, which is a soil, water, wet chemistry laboratory shared amongst three of our faculty members here at the station. Well, thank you all for joining us today on our virtual tour of the University of Kentucky Research and Education Center. On behalf of Dr. Weiss and I, we thank you for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to have people like you come to our, our Research and Education Center. We're so thankful you came and we look forward to you. You having a good day and we look forward to you coming back again some other time. So thank you for being with us today. We appreciate that you got to visit the Grain and Forage Center of Excellence, the home of no-till for the entire world. We hope you come back and see us either online, on social media, or even better, come and stop by in person. We'd be glad to welcome you.